I didn't want to have to tell the story. But this was an experience that wouldn't even leave my head. This was one that I wouldn't even forget. I've been trying my best to forget about it. But the image just wouldn't even leave my head. People deserve to know. And that's why I'm telling you it right now. Most people may recognize the educational show called Sesame Street. It is an American long-running educational children's television series that combines live-action, sketch comedy, animation, and puppetry. It was a long-time favorite of, for kids and adults alike. It's been going on for about, for about 52 seasons and 4,626 episodes. And the show wasn't afraid to tackle dark subject matter such as divorce, death, incarceration, homelessness and food shortage, etc, etc. I used to watch the show when I was little, and this show became very nostalgic to me, and my little sister Sophia <laughs> enjoyed watching it. Until one day, it all happened. One day, while my parents were out for the week, me and my little sister Sophia decided to go to the attic to, to discover some dark secrets. So we went up to the attic, turned on the light switch, and started looking around. It only took about five minutes of looking around until I found something. It was a DVD of Sesame Street called Sesame Street. Some things aren't right. I was confused as to what it meant by that. But I shrugged it off as I showed it to my sister. And she was very excited like usual. So we both went downstairs to my bedroom. Put it, I put the DVD in my DVD player. And it came to the DVD menu. The DVD menu had a black background, and it showed a depressed Elmo who was crying blood out of his eyes. And it only had one option, and it's the play button. I was unsettled about this, so I clicked the play button, and the episode played. When the episode began, the intro was far different than its original appearance. When it played the Can You Tell Me How to Get to Sesame Street theme, it was low pitched and sound depressing. And we both could hear someone say life is meaningless throughout the song. It started off with Elmo at the table at Mr. Hooper's store. He was rather sad and depressed, and he was crying. But not like fake crying, but real crying, as his voice actor was as his voice actor's his wife had let just left him. Suddenly, a then a sickening scene appeared. It was a scene of Gordon tackled to the ground by a cookie monster. He grabbed him by the neck and grew razor sharp teeth out of his mouth. Not prop like teeth, but actual razor sharp teeth. As he then bit into his neck. Then there was a little girl running away from Grover with his super Grover costume on, eh, who was holding an axe in his hand. But as the little girl was running in, in the alleyway, Oscar Man came out of his trash can and grabbed the little girl by the back. Grover walked up to the, to the little girl and chopped her head with his axe, killing her. The next scene that showed Bert and Ernie fighting in the kitchen. It only went on for about five minutes until Bert grabbed out a butcher's knife and stabbed Ernie in the chest. The stuff he then comes out of a puppet's chest and it instantly killed him. After that, there was another scene where Big Bird is trapped inside of a slaughterhouse. As we see chickens getting their necks chopped off, cows getting beheaded, horses getting killed by chainsaws, and pigs getting stabbed in the chests. Big Bird was strapped to a chair as he tried to scream for help, but his beak was tied up. A worker from the slaughterhouse then shows up as he grabs out a butcher knife from from the last scene, as he chops up Big Bird, as we see feathers and guts coming out of a poor bird. I looked at my little sister to see how she's doing, as I see her arms on her legs. I could definitely tell that she wasn't even enjoying it. But the next scene, Mr. Snuffleupagus, oh god, his death was the worst one yet. <laughs> Mr. Snuffleupagus was, was out of force fighting a grizzly bear. And when he got the grizzly bear off of him, another grizzly bear showed up behind him as he attacked the back of his legs. 
and when he fell down, both the grizzly bears were mauling Mr. Snuffleup against the death. I was really nauseous to see this. I ran directly to the bathroom to puke at the toilet because of how disturbing it was. I then came back to watch it. There was then another scene where both Telly and Rosita were in a dark room with a dim light on, as they were both playing Russian roulette. Telly, then, Telly spins the gun around and it points directly to Rosita. She then points the gun directly to her forehead as nothing happened. Rosita then spins the gun around to Telly. Telly then points the gun directly to, directly to the side of the head of his head, as the gun fires as he dead as he dies. Rosita then cries, seeing Telly dead. She then points the gun directly to her mouth and shoots herself, instantly killing her. There was then another scene where Count Fine Count is at a cellar, telling the kids how many dead kids are there hanging on the ceiling and when we got a closer look we saw three dead kids hanging one was a boy with a knife stabbed to his chest showing his skull and his arms ripped off another one was a little girl have her neck twisted have her mouth slid open her, her eyes gouged out eh, and her arm ripped off and the last one was another boy with, with his skin teared open, his eyes opened, and much like the little girl, his mouth was slit open, and, it, and he lost both his limbs. I really didn't even know what I got myself into. Camera zoomed out as it showed a horrific shot of the neighborhood in flames of a riot, and there were people and puppets in there killing each other in brutal ways. Most of them were the puppets that weren't killed off yet. A nuclear bomb that hit Sesame Street as flashing images of the horrifying image of the, of the Sesame Street cast appeared for 15 seconds. After the scene ended, it showed Elmo in a destroyed neighborhood behind him crying. Elmo looked at the camera and he said this. Life is a meaningless, miserable, endless nightmare. The truth is that your kids are all going to die from a horrifying death, no matter what you do. His voice sounded like if his voice actor was depressed. Elmo then continued to sob, and when the episode finally ended and the credits rolled, my little sister was holding me as she was crying. <laughs> Tears were streaming rapidly down her face as I, hu as I hugged her back. I was completely traumatized of what I just saw. One of my favorite kids shows ad actually had a dark hidden meaning about life. Sesame Street was one of my favorite PBS kids shows right between Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and Thomas and Friends. And there's no way that this TV series had a secret message about life. After that childhood rude experience and calming Sophia down, I contacted Sesame Workshop at PBS Kids about the episode. It only took about an hour for them to respond, and this is what they said. We are sorry about that banned episode of Sesame Street. It was supposed to be the final episode, but someone made the episode very brutal, very gruesome, and not safe for kids. And we had Roscoe Orman rush to the hospital. While the person that came up with the episode was under arrest for killing five kids, which in case you haven't noticed. So we fired the person that made this, that made this episode. This was made back in 2010. So we had to make sure that this episode was never her was never released to the network, nor for kids. And you found the lost episode somewhere in the attic. Once again, we are sorry about this banned episode. Now I know why they banned this episode. It was going to be the last episode of Sesame Street, but they didn't air it on television because of the unsettling scenes and brutal deaths. Before I could just relax and try to forget about the episode, I took the DVD out of a DVD player and ran it over with my car, and then threw it in the trash, so that no innocent child can ever watch this ever again. Nor will my little sister, nor will I. Whatever you do, if you ever see a weird DVD in your basement or attic, don't watch it. Destroy it at all costs. But if you want to see what this DVD contains, then watch that at your own risk. 
just be warned. After watching it, you will end up just like me and my little sister, traumatized. I haven't even slept all day, and every time I try to go to sleep, I always get these bad dreams of, of either Cookie Monster, Grover, or the Count trying to kill me. And I just have this feeling that I'm being watched. So please, and I say this one more time, don't ever watch it. And if you do, then by all means, do it at your own risk. Be strong. Be brave.